Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to All the Bots 9 to the Sky. In the last couple of episodes, we have been dealing a lot with our power situation, which should now have been stabilized, especially after I make a couple more hardened integral, inte, inte, <clears throat> integral components for these here dynamos, which means I need to make five of them. But don't worry, this episode is not going to be dedicated to power, we are going to be doing some other stuff. Specifically, I want to handle my storage situation. Not only this storage situation, but also that storage situation. Yeah, I want to set up digital storage. So we're gonna do that, but first there are a couple of things that I want to go through. One of which, oh dear me, yeah, th this is this is getting out of hand very slowly. Uh, but the quest completed, it's getting, uh, I did update the mod pack and I don't know what has been going on. But yes, I did get, I, this is new, isn't it? I, 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 anyway, anyway, not looking at that, not looking at that. All right, there we go, five hardened integral components. Ah, see, there we go, now I could say it properly. And let's go ahead and upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, and upgrade that. And hopefully we can still keep up with the lava, because it should now be using more... Oh, actually, it's, there's no downside, I don't think. So this should just be generating more power in general. Yep, look at that going up. Nice. I have also been making more basic control circuits and more infused alloy, which means that I can now make more wind generators, which I do want, by the way. I do know that placing them further up in the sky will generate more power. But for now, I'm going to place them there. And then in a later episode, we're going to take a look at the we're going to take a look at wireless power because that's going to take some setting up that I don't currently have the resources for at the moment. So I don't know how many of these I want to make, but apparently I can only make that they can't stack so maybe three four or something like that so that's one two i'll be right back and i think this here is the limit and i'm pretty happy with that i think if i go ahead and drop this in am i serious i'm seriously out of space right yeah we're gonna get back to that in a moment i'm just gonna dump that in there but now we have what's that one two three four five six seven more wind turbines of which we're gonna plop these down here and here and look at it couldn't have been more perfect ladies and gentlemen that could not have been a more perfect number right there all right i just need some more cabling now uh, of which i have none question mark Thankfully, I have steel, and steel can be turned into basic universal cables, so just plopping this down like so should do the trick. Even that was perfect number. Look at that. Beautiful. So that should give us 7 times 35. That should give us all yeah, more than 200 extra FE a tick. So that is a lovely, ladies and gentlemen. So with that now done, we need to quickly take a look at this situation over here, because this obviously is getting full, which means this is getting full. This is also getting full, which means this is uh, not getting full, but you know, it's bad. It's not good. So I want to upgrade the storage. Now, I was thinking of using drawers, but then it came to my attention that we don't need that. Uh, we may need it in the future, but we're able to make stack upgrades. This is cool. Uh, I am still thinking though whether or not I want drawers because drawers you can actually add void upgrades which means uh, because with void upgrades you can actually make it so that if the drawer gets full the item that is currently full let's say it's gunpowder is at 1028 uh, if you get more gunpowder it will just void it and not clocking up your system which is really cool and that you can do in uh, drawers, but it also looks like we could actually do that for chests. So if we at some point get too much of something, we can just add it to the void filter. That's also the thing that the void filter requires subsidian, of which it's going to be a bit complicated for me to make that, I think, unless... And actually it's fairly easy, but we're not going to go to that right now. We're just going to focus on the stack upgrades. For that, we're going to be needing stack upgrade tier 3. And for that, stack upgrade tier 2. And for that, stack upgrade tier 1. And for that, we're going to need a lot of wood and upgrade base, which is going to require wood and iron. And from what I can tell, I'm going to need a lot of iron, uh, gold, and then diamonds, of which I have plenty. And we're going to need blocks of some of this stuff as well. So ooh, I'm running low on iron, actually, which is not ideal. But oh, well, here we go. Here we don't go. I don't have any wood, so be right back. Uh, is this gonna do it? Nope, I'm gonna be needing some logs. And that is not the main minor key. There we go, this is it. It's been a while, okay? 
Okay, upgrade base. Uh, let, let's see how many we're actually going to be needing here because we have one. Oh, I keep pressing C for zoom. Uh, one chest here. We don't need one there. We need one there. We need one here. So that's one, two, three, and four. Four a stack upgrades a tier four. Okay, so we're going to be needing four exactly. Cool. Okay, stack upgrade this. I need more logs. Okay. And there we go. Next up is this, which means I'm going to be needing one, two, three, four. Oh dear, that's a lot of iron, but we have it. We have enough for it, so that's good. That's four stack upgrade tier twos. Then we need the tier fours, which is also again one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Wait, one minute, one minute. That, there we go. Four, nice. Four of that. We need to go ahead and make some diamond blocks for the next ones. Diamond shards. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, we have those, which means we can now go ahead and make these. Okay, that was actually not too bad. Oh, cactus, go there. Thank you. So let us take a look at this. I'm going to add this here, which means I can... I wonder how far up of this I can actually go. Uh, only issue is now I'm placing it here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put this here it's already working because that was at 80 something right so i wonder if i do this and then do that yeah but i want it there i want it over there okay this this might take some setting up but it'll be worth it we'll take all of that okay so let's do this so this entire row is going to be amethyst shards okay i'm going to take all this coal all this here Gonna do this with the coal, so the coal goes there. Gonna set the lapis to go here, like so. And I guess since the diamonds are already here, we're gonna go ahead and set the diamonds to be there. Emeralds can go here, and then flint can actually go right there. Okay, that should solve the storage situation, at least for a little bit. I don't know if I can add another one to further increase this. I can. Okay, so that is really cool. So that that that's an easy that's the easy then and there is a tier five as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna add you to here, and really I don't need to do anything other than add these because it's just going to start implementing it and it'll be uh, done with over time. Like that, boom. So that's now going to go up. So I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to set it up like I did in this. That's just so I know how it actually is going to work. That's cool. And I just want to check that the lava is actually doing all right it looks like it and these are not even producing these are producing 100 percent these are only producing 10 percent but i mean if we that's probably because this thing is actually full we need to upgrade our energy cube actually which is really nice but we're not going to do that now uh i'm going to get rid of this because i don't need that and i was going to set up another enrichment chamber of which that's not going to work gonna put that away why was that not working that's weird. Anyway, we're not going to take a look at this. Uh, I was thinking of setting up some jetpacks, but that's going to be a lot of uh, crafting. And I really, really want to get into basic applied energetics. Yes, I'm going to get into applied energetics for the very ever first time. So if this video is long and uh, me making a lot of errors and mistakes, please do bear with me. I'm used to refined storage, but I thought, you know what, since this mod pack has everything explained and guides you through the process, I'm actually going to go ahead and learn it, or try to anyway. So, Applied Energistics. Welcome to Applied Energistics 2. Applied Energistics 2, or AE2 for short, it's an incredibly versatile digital storage mod. To get started, I'm not just going to skip that, okay, I know what it is. To get started with AE2, you will need to save for an important resource for the mod known as Certus Quartz. For more information uh, beyond this chapter, Certus Quartz. I should already have... Like, I have the dust, as you can see. I will also be needing the sky stone. I know that much. And I believe if I head up on over here, I should have... Yes, I have a few Certus Quartz crystals and one charred Certus Quartz crystal. And yeah, that's that's it. So submerge in water and I... That's with charge. Will that consume it? I don't know, but it looks like that I need to save sand. And saving sand in the diamond mesh is also good. Okay, brilliant. I need sand then. Then it's a good thing that sand is easier to get than dust. Because dust is a tedious process. And there we go. That's a lot of sand. I will be right... Ooh, my inventory is going to be 
so quickly, isn't it? I'm actually gonna start using my backpack here since I have it because it's good and I don't need all of this stuff on me at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And boom, we get we're getting stuff. We're getting stuff. Appetite even. Wait, what is appetite used for? Is that from thermal? Yeah, it's from thermal. Ha, ah, see, I know stuff. I'll be right back when this has done saving. Be right back. Okay, it is now the next morning. As you can see, the sun is rising. That took a while. Uh, it didn't take too long. But here we are. We have new stuff. Uh, we have a bunch more charged service quartz. We have ooh, some iron nuggets and we have service quartz crystals. This should be good to get us started. Hopefully anyway. Let us take a look at what is next. No, not the wrench. Let's let's move on here. First things first, some basic machines. Two of the very first things you will need to get started in A2 are the charger and the inscriber. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This 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 is not this this is no. No. I need I need to find the con configurable indeed. I need to find the config button for that cuz file for that cuz that is so loud. Anyway, let us now continue. Two of the very first things you will need to get started in A2 are the charger and the inscriber. The charger, when supplied with power, will take surface quartz crystals and charge them. These charged surface quartz crystals can then be used in the production of fluix, another important resource in the mod. It can also be used to charge any item that stores power. The inscriber can be used to turn the various quartz crystals in A2 into that dust form, but more importantly, it's used to fabricate special printed circuits and processors, as will become clearer in the next quest. So I need to make a chat. Oh, okay, that that's cheap. I, I I don't I don't like seeing sticky stuff from the slime. I don't know how I get slime, but it's doable, and I have I have some iron. I have plenty of copper. As you can see, but uh, yeah, I can I can make the I can make the charger easily enough. Like I I can make this, and we're gonna place it. I I honestly don't know where we're gonna place this stuff. I mean, this wall could I guess be dedicated to A2, but I'm not sure how I'm actually gonna do this. We could make an A2 corner, but this seems like the I want to remake a lot of stuff here. You know what? Maybe we just uh hold on. I'm just gonna do that and oh, yeah. yep. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep, aha, boom, got it, not that, not that, yeah, there we go, nice, it, I, it doesn't have an interface, okay, you know what, that's actually kind of cool, I like when things are like that, inscriber, I need sticky piston, which means I need normal piston, which also needs, I, means I need slime ball, how am I gonna make a slime ball, I can smell this, sl I don't even know how to pronounce that, metallurgic infuser, if I have biomass and cl mm, I, oh dear. Loot fabricator. Yeah, I don't really have village tri I mm -mm, uh, Okay, what is it with this thing? Pressure chamber. Milk. Milk and water makes slime. And how would I get milk? I don't exactly have cows at the moment. Resin bowl is another thing, which I can't make resin apparently. Okay. Do I really need to get it to create in order to make, you know... Slime balls with dough and and that. How, how do I get biofuel? Crusher. Uh, do I need to make a crusher in order to... Why can't I add a bookmark? Am I seriously out of bookmarks now? I, I might be out of book. Nope. Okay. I just can't bookmark. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Two of these, then we need, what was it, four redstone, I think, yep, and then a bunch of lava. These iron nuggets actually coming in clutch right now, because I'm low on iron. <laughs> like, not even kidding. Well, I mean, I guess we were supposed to make the crusher eventually anyway, right? So, yeah, might as well. There we go. Crush that oak sapling. Yep, that's right crush that then oh this is empty that's perfect literally right how how were we making this with the with the, the thing right biofuel and then clay i i have clay i do have clay believe it or not there we go whoa hello welcome to power how, how did all that get how did all that get triggered not not that getting started to i i i i i I don't know anymore. This is, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with this and ignore all the pop-ups, you know, because that's, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, convert that clay ball into a slime ball, please. 
biofuel. I mean, biofuel is cool. I do want to set up some power generation using biofuel. I think that would be really awesome. But there we go. We got a slime ball now. Now I just need two normal pistons. Oh, I need, I need, I need another, I need another slime ball. Uh, uh, do I have apple? Apple. Yeah. Oh, that gave, an apple gave five biofuel. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, that sugar cane is very tall and I'm not gonna complain about it because that's pretty cool. Okay, that's two slime balls. Boom, boom. Do this. Two sticky pistons. And please let this be enough. Yes. I'm so happy. I may need to run this just for a little bit because, uh, yeah, we, we do need a more iron. And this crusher, you know, that can easily go right there. Yeah, for now anyway. And we're gonna stand all the way over here. Add the inscriber there, take one of these and plop it there. Boom, we got inscriber stuff, let's go. And we get some Soda Squatch Crystal. Cool, because we already had that. <laughs> okay, uh, this leads down to this, but this... Um, let's keep forward, Let, let's keep moving forward here. Uh, since we're missing the floor, aka the ground, finding where meteorites land is going to be a little too hard. So instead we replace them. I know that... For a fact, for A2 is normally you would find meteorites that have been crashing in the world or generated in your world as if they had crashed, and you would find these like um, uh, circuits or whatever templates that you can then use to craft other stuff. But since we don't have that, they have removed that and made another method. Instead of finding inscriber press, you can now craft them with an inscriber. You will need skystone dust for crafting them, which we can get from sieving a dust. Already got that, plenty of it. Don't worry, they are still used this used the same as if ATM9 had floor. Okay. Advancement unknown technology. I don't know how to get that. <laughs> I I don't oh I reload my shaders. I don't know how to actually get that. Uh right. I assume I need to make some sort of inscription here, which would be Skystone, Metal Plate, and Crystal. Okay, so Skystone, Crystal, and I assume I could go ahead... No, how how do I get... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I make an Iron Plate? How do I... Engineer's Hammer... Oh, two, two Iron, huh? Two Iron. So two, boom, boom, that makes Iron Plate. Okay, you know what? That kind of makes sense. So this here, this here, and that there, that is going to make some sort of a thingy machingy. Yeah, look at that. Did I make, did, did I do it? No, okay. I mean, I guess I need to just go ahead and make all the different types because I don't think they get consumed. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because that would make life easier. <laughs> okay, so for this one, the... No, nope, that's not what I needed to do. I wanted to go ahead and make this, which is this, this, and diamond makes this thing. And then inscribe a logic press, maybe we get this. This might be the one that it wants us to make. That's gold. So that is boom, boom, and boom. It looks like the one in the... Oh, you can actually see the stuff in there. That's cool. That's actually sick. Boom. It's still not... Okay, maybe this one. Uh, silicone? Silicon? I don't want silicon. Uh, is that it? Inscriber name press. Uh, hmm. How do I get... Oh, Soda Squartz. In a, in a plastic furnace? Just normal. Just normal spelting. Just normal swel spelting. Uh, normal spelting. Dust. That's easy enough. Boom. Do that. Get me this. Can I hold down shift and press this quickly to get it? I can. Haha. <laughs> And I just got a lot of levels because that's been spelting a lot. Okay, so you, you, and you. And boom! That There we go. Unknown technology. We got that. We got that stuff. We got some Skystone as well. Awesome stuff. All right. What is next then? Oh, not that. Uh, processors. So once you have obtained a full set of the required describer presses, it's time to start making some processors. These are an important crafting ingredient used to make the large majority of ME connected devices. So I need to make one logic, I need to make a calculation, and I need to make an engineering. Okay. Starting with the logic, I need to make the printed logic circuit, which is made using uh, inscriber logic or universal press. I guess I don't have the universal press, do I? Can I make it? No, I cannot. Okay, so I'm going to need the inscriber logic press and gold. Gold and inscriber logic press. That should give me this. 
And then that combined with redstone. Okay, I think I would like to add drawers here because that would make crafting stuff so much easier. Add, add this here. Do that. Uh, that should work. Uh, hello? Eh? Oh, print is silicon. Okay, hold on. So any silicon and inscribe a silicon press. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and whoop. Okay, so the, you he can't the oh right this there that's gonna make a bunch of silicon because uh, I yeah I need printed silicon for all of these so I'm just gonna let that run and I'll be right back. Okay, with that done, now I should be able to go ahead and add you here, add that there, and add this there, and that should now be making the logic processor. This is a bit grind grind, grind stuff that we need to go ahead and do. Uh, I wonder how much of this we actually need to do later on. So calculation, I like it though. I should say I do like it though. So this here, this is brand new to me as well. I'm learning all this, like I've never done this before. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot actually. So let's go ahead and add you here, add this here and add that here. That's going to go ahead and make the calculation processor. And for this, yeah, that's what I thought. We need a diamond for that one. Do I have a diamond? I do not have a diamond. I will get a diamond. There we go. Nice. There we go. Calculation processor. Then I need to go ahead and take this out. Do that. Not that. Need you. You. That's going to make this. And then I don't think I need that or that right now. Boom. Got this. Ka-ching, ka-ching. And with that done and said, we should now have all the different logics that it wanted us to make. Very cool stuff. So with that, we're done. We got a little bit of silicon. Nope, we got certain squats instead. Cool. Okay, we're moving up in the world. Terminals. Linux user joke goes here. <laughs> I'm actually a Linux user, so I like this. Terminals provide access to any of the contents of an ME network. The standard ME terminal supply supply lists everything in the network as one large grid to pull from and insert into. Uh, akin to a single inventory. So the ME crafting terminal is an extension of the ME terminal, which also provides a built-in crafting grid, allowing for convenient crafting using any item converted in the network and visible through the terminal screen. So we need to make the ME terminal before we can make the crafting terminal. That makes sense. Oh dear me, what is this? <laughs> okay, so I need the logic processor that we just made. I need any of the, I guess, just illuminated panel. I don't care. Annihilation core and formation core. Oh boy. Okay, first we have illuminated panel, which is quartz, glass, glowstone, redstone, and iron. And I should have glowstone around here somewhere. I do indeed. Now I need to just make quartz glass, which is surface quartz and just normal glass. Okay, very, very happy that I don't have to mine for quartz or something, because that would have been not fun, because that's a process. <laughs> there we go, illuminated panel. Awesome. Then I need annihilation core, which is logic process of flux dust. Uh, quartz. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one first because that that seems that seems nice. So flux dust is made from flux crystal in an inscriber, and to get flux crystal, uh, boy, I think I have one if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, it is a chapter in the thing that we may need to make in uh, take in order to move on, which I think it is because. Turns out I don't have it. All right, we're jumping to flux crystals. Arguably, the most important resource you will need next is Fluix, used throughout the vast majority of A2 devices that serving. Yep, we know. You'll typically want to mass produce these, and the way to do so is to make a Fluix crystal by throwing nether quartz, chat surface quartz, and redstone together in a pool of water. This will give you a Fluix crystal, which you can turn to dust in an inscriber. Okay, uh, we have, do, do I get another quartz from something or am I just doomed? Right, please tell me there's a sieve, you crushed another, right, okay, hold on. Okay, there's one option of bulk washing crushed raw gold, but that is the create gold, so that's not gonna work. Sieve, we need to sieve crushed or soul sand. Soul sand is a 21, 19% chance. And getting this is witch water and sand, but that's going to be a grind. Uh, block conversion, crusher, soul soil, llama. So, okay, yep, we need to go back. Uh, cutting board, block of quartz, crusher, quests, opposite day. Don't know what that is. World gen, obviously, we don't have that. 
enrichment chamber, quartz dust, block of quartz. Yeah, none of that. Uh, that's not gonna. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. We need to make another rack. There is also this recipe, which with witch water, which we do have, and lava. That's just not gonna make a whole lot, though. I believe we need a lot of it, so I don't know how far that's gonna actually get us. Um, Ignis Extruder. I assume that that's gonna use the lava, but not the witch water. How do you make that? That's Envar. That's constant. We don't have constant because we don't have constant. Ugh. Mechanical dry basin, magma block, magma block gets taken from. Uh, I'm tempted to try this because lava can be easily acquired. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Constant dust. We need nickel, so I should have nickel somewhere. As a matter of fact, I don't have any. Yep, there we go. Never mind. There we go. Constant dust. Go ahead and constantly. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Go ahead and make two constant gears. Need to go ahead and take some iron. Make the redstone servo. Go ahead and get another iron, not in wire iron, and go ahead and make a piston. And boom, Ignis extruder. And apparently, I only needed one constant gear. Oh well. If I add you there, I don't even know. I don't think you need. Apparently, we don't need lava for, uh, not lava, uh, power for this thing. So if I add, this can only be used in this extruder. Generate service types of stone requires an adjacent lava source and cooling. The block beneath may also affect the product. Okay, I'm not doing that next to wood. That would be, <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Um, lava bucket. Uh, okay. I'm very confused because this has three, this has... I don't know how to actually go ahead and use this. Please don't burn. Is that what you need? Nope. Oh, so it doesn't show that. That's annoying. But that that's a f fast way of making cobblestone as well. But now, does this mean that I can take this witch water and go ahead and do this? No. But that's what it said in the thing. That is literally what it said, isn't it? Oh, it needs to say it needs a netherrack underneath it. It needs a nether. Okay, there needs to be a netherrack underneath this thing to tell it to make that. I assume. Yeah, because just this makes that, but then it needs a netherrack underneath it too. Okay, gotcha. How on earth am I gonna get that? <laughs> By this, cause I'm clever. See, take a look at this lava. Which what? That's blackstone, dude. That's. It also used my. Okay. Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. I assume it had to be witch water and then lava on top of that. No, witch water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then what does it mean? Contents are consumed. I don't know, but we're gonna try the other way around. Okay, here we go. Witch water in lava. Yes, got it. Okay, now I just need to make a little bit more. Get another lava bucket, and while that is cooking, I should just need to go ahead and do this. This is a temporary setup, by the way. Temporary setup, netherrack, ignis extruder, and then what would it be? Uh, lava, I think. Lava on the left, and then witch water on the right. At least I'm assuming that that's how this works. Yep, be back in a few. Okay, here we go. Witch water bucket. And if we go ahead and do this over here. Yes, it's making another rack. This means we can also in the next episode automate the process of making crushed nether rack and automating that process. In the next episode, we're going to set up drawers, I think. Um, we're going to get digital storage today, obviously. We're in the process of that. And then in the next episode, prob maybe in between episodes, I'm probably going to expand the base, do some stuff, and then we will um, continue working on the base in the next episode. Because, uh, yeah, we need to expand and get drawers going and stuff like that and automate a lot, a, lot more a, a lot more stuff. But now I have this, and with this, I can now go to bed. Or I can make another right, another right? No, another rack pillar. And crush it all down. Boom, crush leather rack, and let's hope that we actually get the stuff that we need. We're gonna get gunpowder, uh, magma, and quartz. Perfect. This is beautiful. I'm so happy with this. <laughs>
Okay, let's put this stuff away. Don't need this, don't need that. Only need it. And then nether quartz. Lovely. And it would be great if we could just temporarily... Do we have a chest? But we have no, but we have enough wood to make a chest. If we could just temporarily output the contents of that chest into... Or this into there, because then it can just sit there and make stuff for us while we do basically other stuff. Take the wrench, set this to output, and I can't open it, but it is being outputted. So that's good. <laughs> that's all that matters. Now that I have all that, I can now go ahead and not make that. I can make the... Nope, that's not where we came from. We came from this. Throwing nether quartz, charged surface quartz, and redstone. So this, this, and charged into water should generate this fluid stuff. So you, you, and you. That's my... that. Excuse me, that's my Paxel. Okay, this could be... Hmm. See, I have magnet thingy. So this, this, and this, and I press something at block translocators. Okay, C. I keep pressing C because I'm used to having zoom. I'm gonna do that. Run away. Boom. There we go. Sick. Okay. Some sometimes I don't know how this magnet thing got like put a magnet effect put on me, but I have it. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> there we go. Do that. Run away. And boom. There we go. Uh, yeah, we need to automate this process as well, obviously, at some point. Okay, that didn't work. This, 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 run away. <laughs> Complicated process, but there we go. Okay, six. We have six. That should be good enough for now. Um, we need to turn two of them into dust, which this should do, if I'm not mistaken. And, yep, there we go. Nice. Quest complete. Fluix crystals. Very nice. Are we going to get anything? Oh, yes. Perfect. Beautiful. And basically, we're not going to do that now. We need to go ahead and actually get these done. So that is the annihilation core. Boom. And then the formation core, which is another logic processor, which means I need gold. And to get the logic processor, it was... Inscriber, logic press, and gold. Inscriber, logic press. And then this, and then that, and then redstone in the middle. Yep. So this goes here. You, you. I'm learning. See, I'm learning, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. That's the logic processor. Go ahead and make the formation core. Now we have that. We can make the ME terminal. Nope, we need another one of these. <laughs> you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to keep the gold on me for now. This and the logic press thingy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And with that, add this, this, this. Nice. And then with that, we can make the ME terminal. And with the ME terminal, we can go ahead and make this after making a quick crafting table. Also, it's raining outside, which is kind of nice, but also, I think, maybe a little bit loud. There we go. Just let it be in the background. Nice and gentle. All right. There we go. ME crafting terminal. A much bigger table. Okay. Cables. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. <clears throat> to connect the vet. Okay. Thunder. That's cool, I, I guess. Uh, to connect the vast majority of your ME network together, you will need some cable. Any glass cable is the first and most basic kind of cable, and you will be making this all throughout the first step towards crafting the other kinds of cable. <gasps> Both glass cables and their covered counterpart can carry up to eight channels along a single section of cabling. Unlike glass cables, covered cables can subse uh, subsequently be crafted into dense covered cables, capable of carrying up to 32 channels. How many channels do we need? Also, what are the channels? And also, this is a lot of thunder. However, most multi-part devices, such as buses and terminals, cannot be directly attached to a dense cables, requiring normal width cables to perform a connection instead. All cables can also be crafted with dye to color them. Uncolored fluix can be quiet. Cables can connect to any other color of cable, but otherwise differently colored. Ca <clears throat> can I just make normal glass cable? I need quartz fiber, apparently, uh, which is fine because it's not the important. It's not the uh, expensive quartz. Also, it's the wait, it, daytime, please. I have zero grass, grass, glass. I have zero glass and I have zero sand. I really need a uh, a thingy, a crusher to make to make this stuff because I keep having to make sand because I need glass and it's annoying me. <laughs> I mean, I have one piece, but that's not really enough. All right, quartz fiber. Go ahead and make that flux. Me glass cave. That's expensive though. 
using these crystals. That's... I mean, I've already used it, and I need more leather quartz. Okay. Uh, that's that done. Cool. And then we have cable anchor, advanced cabling, and color applicator. Forward on channels. In Applied Energistics 2, every ME network has a certain number of channels available, which simply means how many networked devices can fit on the whole network. Okay, that's cool. As a rule of thumb, any device that, that more or less handles any data directly and is stored within the network and carries out some form of input-output will take up a channel. Usually components that are only concerned with the internal power storage of the network, like energy cells, and uh, I'll get back to that. That's a lot. Uh, so moving forward, we need the ME controller. The last piece of the puzzle for any large ME network is the ME controller. A controller supplies an ME network with a far larger number of chat. Okay, here goes the chat. Uh, that's, only, that's only for a single block controller. However, since the controller is a fact multi-block structure, this, the controller can... Uh, I think I just need one of these. <laughs> I think I, it's Skystone Block. Do I have Skystone Block? I'm pretty sure that I have something. I can. I, I have Skystone, and that can be turned into... Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. You cook that real quick. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I need to craft this thing. So that is that. I need some more Flux Crystal, which means I need to access this chest is what I need to do. So give me this. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, yep. Yep, and yep, and yep. Boom. Good. Yep. Mm-hmm. And three, and a two, and a one. Ka-ching. Nice. Be right back when this has been served. Okay, I think all that I need to do now is go ahead and get this. And then I need to get the engineering processor, which I have two of actually already. So actually, without any further ado, boom. M-E controller which of course is going to need power but it's looking cool already there we go get some certain squads there we go and next up we need to the, i think i think i think yep this is now getting power i think i can go ahead and place that the no <laughs> that, that's not how that works apparently uh we do have this quartz wrench which might be what I need for this. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So if I place you there, can I then turn you? Nope, I can pick you up easily though. Uh, do, do I need, I, I may need cabling. Nope, that's not, mm. you know what? <laughs> We're just gonna continue on here. Uh, XP, cool. The storage, items as a file system. Arguably the most important aspect of Applied Energies 2 is its storage system, making use of digital storage cells. These cells are accessible through either an ME chest for single cells or an ME drive for multiple cells. The ME chest holds a single cell at a time, which can then be read from and written to from any other terminal on the same network. The ME chest itself also provides its own terminal screen on the top with specific access only to the cell it contains. That's kind of cool actually. The ME drive can hold up to 10 assorted storage cells in the space of the single block and a single ME channel. However, it does not provide its own terminal screen, requiring some external uh, blah blah blah. That is what we want to make right there. Uh, that recipe is actually really easy. It may want me to... Oh, I don't want to... I don't... I, I really hope that I can just make the ME, the ME drive. I don't want to make another... I, I don't need the chest. Let me put it that way. I don't need the... Don't need the chest. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll see you after some crafting has been done. Okay, ME drive, boom. Nope, it's only half made. It's only halfway there and we can't continue down that path until we've actually done that. Okay, that's fine. Network details, stored power, max power, channel drain. How much power is that? Okay, yep, it's not using too much, good. Um, it can access all of this stuff actually, which is kind of cool. I don't know why, I mean, if I place it there, doesn't actually register it. I assume that there has to be some sort of connector. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. I just unfortunately have to go ahead and make an ME terminal again. I need to be careful not using this. I don't know if it can be used for it, but I need to be careful. <laughs> oh, I actually have everything. I just need a another logic processor. Well, in that case, it's not too bad. So go ahead and make another ME terminal. Use that ME terminal to make the chest. It's using the ME terminal, not the thing. We made that cool. Don't want to use it though. There we go. Quest completed and we can move forward. Creating your first storage cell. Still don't know how to add the terminal because apparently... Oh, it does... Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the panel. Here, here it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We, we can access stuff. 
Okay, we're getting close, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting close. Each individual cell has a certain capacity that is dictated by the component that the cell has been crafted with. The first of the component is a 1k ME storage component, providing 1024 bytes <laughs> of storage for a given cell. More on that later. So we need to make that, then we can make it into an item storage. But I may want to go down this path, maybe. 1 million. Can't really do that just yet, but in the future, maybe. Uh, so we need to make this, which is another logic processor, and then we should have everything else that we need. Uh, and I really shouldn't be making that many. But you know what? Let's make four. Okay. Boom. Oh, you can actually use the quartz crystals and not the that. Okay, that's awesome. So that's 1k ME storage unit. That is that done. Very cool. Didn't want to pin it. That's because I can't see anything. Uh, and then we move on to the item storage. So I'll do this. And then I think we will upgrade to a 4k storage component later in just a moment. With a 1k storage component, you can now craft yourself a 1000 ME item storage cell to start your digital item storage system. You will most likely want the majority of your storage to be for items, so you'll probably want to make a few ME item storage cells. Uh, ME item storage cells can hold up to 63 different types of items. Each new type of item added to a cell will take up a certain fraction of the storage cell's total capacity at bytes. For each type already present, blah blah blah. I think I know how this already works, kinda. So we need to go ahead and make this thing which is the storage component, which we have here. And then we need to put it together with either this or make a bunch of those. I need to make more quartz glass, which is easy enough, actually. And then I should have everything that we need in order to make this. So 1000 ME item storage cell. Add this to there. And I'm pretty sure if I add something like that, boom. One nine of 1024 bytes used. Remove it. And zero of 1024 bytes used. <laughs> it's working, ladies and gentlemen. And I get a this. Very good. Because I want to... How much would it be for a 16? 16 would be kind of cool. Don't know how much 4K is going to do for us. But uh, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Definitely. I uh, don't know if it's a good idea or not. But I'm going to do it. So need more redstone. So I can make one, two, three, four, five, six... And why is there a fire? That's a fire. That's a fire. That, that's a fire. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Better not be... Nope, we're good. Okay. That's stupid lava. I mean, we probably have enough netherrack by now. So, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. And we'll come back to this in probably the next episode. If I make one more... According to my calculations anyway, uh, anyway. One more logic processor. I should be able to make three more. Which should be able to grant us a 16 bytes storage thingy, I think. So we have that now. All I need now is a calculation processor, which was Certus Quartz. And with that, I should now be able to do this, make one, and then I need two more. And I got something for that. There we go. Nice. Get some Certus Quartz crystal. That's cool. And so with that now, I should be able to make two. And with four, I should be able to go ahead and do this now. I just need one more and four glowstone. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we got a 16,000 ME storage component, which combined with this gives us 16,384 bytes. Look at that. That is pretty awesome right there. And then we could continue. Bulk item storage, aside from this, you can also use netherite to craft what I don't have netherite, so nope. Uh, we can store fluids, apparently, which is kind of cool. Uh, don't know how that's going to work, so we'll wait with that as well. And portable storage. Portable cells function identically to regular cells in that they can be inserted into a chest or drive and filled accordingly. However, unlike regular cells, their content can also be accessed standalone via the cell item itself, which would be kind of cool. So that would require a chest and ME's source cell housing. Uh, that is 1k. Don't know if we can use that to upgrade. Doesn't look like it. But that would be kind of cool. So I guess that's a usage for the chest. Because that sounds like something that would be, I guess, a uh, replacement for the backpack. In a way. Why did that not trigger? I definitely had it. That's weird. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I think we did it. I think this is the basic setup for AE2. Right here. These three blocks. And we will be able to, well, actually, add all this stuff to it. Um, what I need to figure out though, first of all, terminal style. Medium center terminal, tall center terminal, full height, small centered. It's because of my UI that it's uh, the way it is. Terminal settings, right. View, stored, craftable, stored. That's fine. Um, hmm. 
Let me think. Because obviously we don't want iron and stuff stored in it because that's going to get filled up really, really quickly. And I think what I'm looking for is import, export, tunnels. Use, this has a use outside of crafting. How do you access any wireless? Yes. How do you access a chest such as a drawer or something? The ME interface is one of these devices. As an input device, the interface allows any item fluid, etc., to be piped externally through it, which is then automatically stored in the ME network that the interface is connected to. As an output device, the interface can be configured to keep a certain available amount of stored items. I'm starting to realize something. Uh, I may not be able to spit on a switch list for out to wherever external storage the bus is facing. Unlike the import bus, the export bus cannot work without being filtered. The import bus periodically sucks items in from whatever. Okay, so what I'm looking for is basically from refined storage, you can have an external storage, but it doesn't look like that this has it. I sh I'm sure that it has. I just don't know how to set it up. But also, I don't think we will need it because in the next episode, we will actually be setting up drawers for this because even though these are cool, uh, I want I want the stuff to be in drawers so it's easily accessible, like a full wall. So I want to remove some of this. There's a lot of universal cables. I, it's very cluttered. So I think in the next episode, we're going to actually set that up. For now, though, I mean, for now, I think I'm just going to dump this stuff in our storage here. Get rid of it all so I can get rid of this chest. Because this is, that is what this is supposed to do. It is supposed to replace the chest completely. Or chests, I should say. Like all of this stuff needs to be added to that. All of this, including this iron chest. And how much have we used? So we have just about used our 1k ME item storage cell already. But look at this. It's clean. I'm going to take this now. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to plop you... Uh, hmm, can't really see. I need to power this thing. Put power it here and then run a cable down. That's doable. I mean, we're gonna redo this anyway, right? So, ME drive, I assume that we could have this here. Flux cable thingy. Uh, I would like another torch, but that's in there. <laughs> uh, and then this to be placed right there. And then just cable running across it like so. I just need more... Flux ME, which uh, I'm pretty sure is um, <clears throat> in in here. So I'll just need to quickly <laughs> do this temporarily. And I'll need all this. So to quartz. And then I'll need gla glass. Do I have glass in here? I do. Nope, I don't. So now I should be able to connect this all the way down to here. Remove you. Reconnect. Nope. Reconnect you. Chop you up and place you there. Move this. Place you there. Boom, boom. Nope. Boom, boom. Like that. And boom. That is now sorted. I think I like that for now anyway. In the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to revamp the base. Because all this needs to like be put in a different way. With drawers and everything like that. But this works, ladies and gentlemen. This actually works. And I'm really, really, really happy with it. Do we have torches in here? <laughs> Look at that, I told you. Told you it would be in here. Boom. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to call it for this episode. I've been recording this for 1 hour and 25 minutes. Hopefully it wasn't too painful to watch. In Like I said, in the next episode, we'll be revamping the base. I'm looking very much forward to it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. And before I go, I will set this back to work. Yeah, there we go. Have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.